Hi friends, it's Amy. Thank you for watching my channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment for more content. And yes, I do show videos every week. And I know for the past two weeks, I haven't been showing any videos. I will talk to you later. And by the thumbnail, it shows that I lived in a shelter. So I'm going to tell you my experience on that. Okay, so everyone has been convincing me to live in a shelter for the past four years. So I finally made that decision and I did it for one day. And I'm like, oh no, this is not for me. And I know everywhere you go, you have rules, regulations, and now that COVID has begun, new protocols. Like, I'm not tripping off wearing a mask, even though I'm vaccinated, and I did get my booster yesterday, too. So, I finally made that decision to do that. And I felt like that was not the best decision to make. I wasn't like concerned about what people would think of me and judge me or anything of that nature. Like I didn't care about none of it. My thing is, you know, being there and experiencing what you have to go through. Like, for instance, the lights come on at 5 o'clock in the morning. You have to be out the dorm at 7.45. Some of those people didn't have nowhere to go, you know. And lunch is at 11 o'clock. Dinner is at 4.30. Lights are out at 10.30. So, when I heard that, I was like, okay, this is like jail. And speaking of jail, it looked like it's a jail. It looked like a mental hospital. So, I couldn't find out that I was at the wrong shelter. It was a shelter for drug rehab people. And, I no, I, I don't do drugs. So, <laughs> like, I'm like, no, this is not the shelter for me at all. So experiencing it I'll never do it again mm -mm. and like far as showering you have to shower at a certain time at 7 p.m. you can't take showers during the day and if you're in a program you have to be there for 10 months and not only be there for 10 months you have to go to chapel yeah, the chapel. So they have chapel in the morning and they have chapel in the night. And I'm like, uh uh, child, that is not for me. And, oh, and if you have a laptop, you have to pay $25 to use your laptop in that place. Now, if you're not in a program, you will have to pay $15 a day to stay there. Mind you, this is a shelter. So when people come to that shelter, they go in there because they have nowhere to stay. They don't have any money. They don't have $15 a day. Oh, and then to top it off. So by being in a program, they will pay you $50 a week. $50 a week? Girl. No. Uh-uh. That's like, that's an insult to me. And that's really belittling. So, I stayed there that night. I was scared. I was very, very scared. And, like, the people there, there was like, there was no reason for you to be scared. We was all scared. And you can see that I was really timid. Like, I was so timid. And then I'm a little woman, too. Like, I'm 5'3". And I'm under 100 pounds. So let me tell you about how the shower works. I totally understand. Nobody wants to see nobody in the nude. 
I get that because I, I don't want to see nobody naked <laughs> okay and I don't want nobody to see me naked so you have to undress and dress in the shower so me being me I always turn the water on so it can get hot and I realized when I took my shower I was like I am getting in the shower with my clothes on but I did move the shower head so I won't get wet anyway so you have to um, do all that oh that's what I want to say so far as washing your clothes there they charge you they charge you to wash your clothes there I think that is like so unfair and so unjust because like I said we're in a shelter like there's no reason for us to be paying for anything anything like that and that's not fair it's not but that's why I moved around 